We have some big movies coming out to end off 2022. The science fiction Avatar sequel is finally coming out after the first one became the biggest movie in history at the box office well over a decade ago. Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam and Marvel Studios' Wakanda Forever should be big, including scary ones as we get to Halloween time. Now, the horror genre isn't really my cup of tea. I've never once been like, I need to see this horror movie. I just don't like the concept of them compared to other genres. They freak me out, man. This is basically my reaction to anything remotely horror. It's y'all sit that hush. My dear. Oh hell no. I could probably handle horror the less graphic it is, but I digress. I don't usually know about most horror movies that come out unless they become popular and I have no other choice but to see people talking about it on social media. I'm just not too into those kind of movies, and I'm certainly not rushing to watch any of them. With that said, there is a horror movie that I now know of that hasn't even come out yet, which of course is rare for me. When making and releasing a movie, half the battle is the promoting of said movie. It can be the greatest film ever put to a screen, but if nobody even knows about it, it obviously doesn't matter. Well, it looks like promoting a movie has gotten brought to a whole new level. A new horror movie by Paramount called Smile is set to release on September 30th, and to promote the movie, they are hiring actors to go to Major League Baseball games, sit behind home plate, and have the creepiest smile imaginable. Seriously, this is a thing that's actually happening. It started in Oakland when the A's were taking on the Mets, when a woman was spotted behind home plate smiling in the utmost creepy way with a bright yellow shirt that read Smile. I mean, look at this, that's horrifying. She was even standing up at one point to really stand out before a security guard took action and told her she needed to sit down, which she complied immediately. So as creepy as she was, at least she was nice about it, there was a man at the Dodgers game doing the exact same thing, sitting behind home plate with a creepy grin on his face with the yellow smile shirt on. This wasn't just a California thing, either. Jump across the country all the way to New York, where you would then find another man doing the creepy smile behind home plate, with the only only difference being that he was just wearing a plain blue shirt. I don't know about you, but this, to me, seems like excellent marketing. I mean, think about it. I alone proved that. I had no idea this movie existed or that it was ever going to be released, yet here I am talking about it because of this stellar promotion job by the studio. Hiring people to sit in places at a baseball game where the broadcast can clearly show you and then do the creepiest thing imaginable to promote a horror movie? It's different, and it's creepy, but it's smart as hell. But yeah, I cannot emphasize enough on how uneasy it makes someone like me feel. If someone smiled at me like that, this would probably be me. Stop it, Jesus! What they've done has gotten traction, and as a result, more people are at least more intrigued to see this movie. Will you see it? Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.